Hi, students. In continuation to our uh, previous uh, models on employee empowerment, so in this model, uh, we will discuss uh, the process and dimensions of uh, uh, employee empowerment. I think you are uh, uh, understanding so the employee empowerment, why it is uh, needed, and then how sensitive is it? So because it has got both sides, uh, the negative as well as the positive side also. So one has to be very cautious uh, while empowering employees, and uh, we must ensure that our uh, uh, the lower level employees are uh, competent and then capable of uh, uh, you know, using that uh, the given uh, the power and authority uh, in an appropriate manner for the benefit of uh, organization as well as individual also. So in that respect, we can see in this model the process and then dimensions. What are the main issues uh, in the uh, employee empowerment. So the takeaway from this uh, the model is, uh, no, you will understand uh, no, the different stages in the empower empowerment of employees and uh, various dimensions of uh, employee empowerment. You will understand and then uh, no, uh, learn uh, these uh, the process and dimensions. So employees empowerment uh, the process is uh, the, it starts there are the different stages. It starts with identifying the reason for empowerment. First of all, we have to be clear about uh, uh, the need of empowerment. So because uh, the need uh, comes out of uh, understanding the, the job of the lower level employees. So each and every, uh, you know, uh, the job at lower level must be analyzed and understood. So whether the job is really required empowerment, because you have to understand the job as well as the jobber also. So the jobber uh, no, needs, uh, you know, executing the duties and responsibilities, more empowerment, more power and more authority. So then, uh, so we have to identify that. Then the changing the behavior of the, the senior management. So at the same time, so the senior management is supposed to be very, you know, uh, the broad and then liberal in terms of sharing the information. So that's more, otherwise what happens in the senior level, they have a tendency of controlling the uh, lower level employees. So if you control, it has its own, you know, the negative side. So especially uh, on certain jobs where the, you know, um, employees, lower level employees are directly dealing with the customers on the spot, uh, they have to take a decision without uh, uh, taking much time. So in that respect, the, you know, uh, the behavior of the senior management is supposed to be the different because uh, the nature of jobs and then uh, uh, importance of the, the transactions between the customers and then business. So determining the uh, impact of employee decisions. So at the same time, so when uh, you are just empowering, they will be taking decisions independently. So if they take a decision, how it is going to affect on the organization, so is it negative or positive, that also one has to analyze and establishing the work teams. So you have to establish the work teams uh, the next level and then see that how you can uh, empower, what you can empower, what type of uh, uh, no, the power and authority you are going to uh, waste on the others. Right? Sharing information, selecting the, the rights. So you have to identify the employee and then uh, give the, the complete uh, no, uh, idea about on uh, which aspect and then what are the areas on which you are uh, going to empower and they will have a freedom to take a decision. And then providing the training, especially when you are just empowering, first of all, you just you know, orient them and tell them that how they're supposed to be you know, uh, you know, empowered and uh, so where they have the complete freedom to take decisions and then uh, handle the job. So then uh, without any you know, um, issues, like right? So communicating the expectations. So you can, at the same time, you can expect that while uh, empowering, this is what we are expecting from you. So like that, you can, uh, see the complete process of uh, uh, the employee empowerment in the organization. So if you see there are uh, three levels uh, in the entire process, like establishing the employees uh, to make uh, bigger decisions uh, without uh, having referred to the uh, the seniors, and that is the one level. So because you know, they can take decisions without permission from the, the seniors, and involving the employees to improve the, the ways of uh, doing uh, our uh, uh, things uh, done. So they can just you know, involve and then see that they are taking decisions uh, without permission from the others and encouraging employees to play a more effective role in the their work. So you can see these are the three important uh, levels in the empowerment. So if you see the dimensions, uh, there are five core uh, the dimensions of empowerment, like self-efficacy, self-determination, personal control, manage uh, meaningful, and trust in the management. So when employees empowered, so you can see that employee side, so self-efficacy is more important, the sense of personal uh, the competency. So when you are getting more power and authority, you must uh, uh, hold the, you know, on the horn of the, that authority and then use it very cautiously without uh, any negative uh, results. So we believe that they have the 
ability to perform the task and believe that they are uh, capable of putting forth their efforts and believe that uh, no outside obstacles will uh, prevent the from the accomplishing the, the task so these are the uh, various uh, issues like you no know, self efficacy then uh, you can see the self determination the sense of the personal choice like a choice about the methods using the accomplishment of tasks and choice about the efforts to be expanded choice about the the pace for the work and choice about the the time frame so they have a complete choice to decide the time the space and then even work and then uh, even whatever they want they can decide on their own as far as uh, you know uh, the um, empowerment is concerned so then the personal uh, the consequences so sense of having impact you can feel that you are uh, uh, you know uh, responsible for everything the feeling of active control and then bring down environment into alignment with the you know wishes like a feeling of positive control wishes about the brought into the alignment with the environment so these are the other issues so then you can see that meaningfulness like you no know, sense of uh, value in the activity and then value for the purpose of goals and then activity it contain counts the individual's value system so create a sense of uh, the purpose passion and then mission this is not the the same as the personal belief so so these are the uh, you know um, sensible things uh, from the employee point of view you have to understand so how it is meaningful when you are having more power and authority so then the last one the trust so sense of security you have to feel that so you are everything so you have you supposed to trust the management and then management supposed to have the trust on you like a feeling that they will be treated fairly and then equally and encouraging the development of relationship and allowing people to act in a confident and then straight forward manner so these are the certain issues and then uh, understanding and trust uh, between the employee and employer uh, as far as uh, the power sharing and empowerment is concerned so that is more important uh, dimension of uh, the employee empowerment with this uh, let me stop here and then looking forward to meeting the next video thank you